That's not what she wants. She wants to feel your strength. She doesn't want you to, to prove you prove her wrong or give her a convincing argument or to really even ask. A lot of times women don't even want you to answer their question. They don't even want you to solve their problem. She don't want you to solve her problem. What she wants is for you to be strong, to, to be something that she could rest on. Boom. Slow down. Slow down. It's all right. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot. Been with my wife for 11 years. I love her more than ever. Lately, she's been wreaking havoc uh, with my peace at random. She gets in her feelings and starts an argument with me. She can act very hard like a man. Defiance, like you said. I think she learned to get hard out of necessity. She had a traumatic relationship when she was young and had to learn to become hard to survive and get out, which I respect very much. If she's stressed and she goes into hard mode on me and it's like having a competition with a dude in my house fucking me up and my peace. It came to a head two days ago and now I'm on a little trip on my own to get some space. How can I encourage her to be more soft so when she has an issue she brings some feminine to it when she engages with me so I can work with her? When she gets hard on me, I end up responding with hardness which I don't think is wrong. Any advice on a situation, which would be great. So the first thing that came to my mind was what dated David Dita, you know who David Dita is? David Dita says in the way of the superior man. And in it, he describes the nature of the masculine and the feminine to a very a beautiful degree, very poetic degree. And he truly understands sexual polarity to this man. And I highly recommend you read this book. But in it, he, he, he likens women to a storm, right? Like you could imagine like a storm out on the ocean where that was rocking the boats, whoosh, crashing, right? He says, this is, this is a woman, this is a, a very feminine in nature is to be chaotic. And the female is, feminine nature is chaotic. That's, that's just uh, when it comes to like the physics of it. Masculine nature is very stoic and feminine is very chaotic. And, and that's how we balance each other out. And you know this because the woman is is generally, you know, especially in a rightly ordered world, generally more emotional than the man. And so the man is like a mountain. And so if the woman is like the stormy ocean, the man is like the mountain. And the woman like the stormy, stormy ocean, and if she's acting like a whirlwind. What she, what is required, and what is she what she's really hankering for, and what she really wants, is the strength of that mountain to settle her down and so he gives a few different examples of what that looks like in his book when he talks about a woman who's like you say she's act she's acting real she's acting real wild and he's just for example he, he gives in the book now of course he, there's a difference between doing something and being something but sometimes you can learn how to be by doing and so, you, so these examples are helpful don't think of them as, as like a strategy like i'm gonna go do this <laughs> but get into the place, like be the type of man that this just emerges from you. So he says, when she acts that way, just grab her, lift her up off the ground and give her a big kiss. Like, like, and he says, even like, you know, you know, when children, like they're, they're, they're throwing temper tantrums, you go behind them and you kind of hold them so that they can calm down. He says, just grab her or hold her like that. Hold her. So she's like acting up, acting up, acting up. You just stay cool. You stay real cool. And you just draw her to you, and you're like, mm-hmm, I get it, uh-huh, uh-huh. And you, and you just hold her, and just hold her. And she's like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? And you just just start kissing her, <laughs> kiss her on the neck. It's all right. I understand. I get it. It's all right. Relax. I mean, you don't tell, maybe you don't tell her relax, but you know what words to use with your wife. And so the whole idea is that you bring her into your st strong embrace that will ultimately, like, First of all, you got to be unmoved, right? Like the mountain. She's moving all over the place. You have to be unmoved. Not, not disconnected and unconcerned. You're concerned. Oh, I'm listening. I understand. Mm-hmm. Good. Right. But then reach for her in, and, and, and he says it in the book too. And, you know, a lot of people will think this is, you know, sexist or whatever because people are retarded. Um, but... She, she wants you to be like a strong father. When you're with a woman and she's your wife, in a lot of ways you're paternalistic. Men are to be paternalistic even with their wives. You're like a father. And so when she's in that chaotic space, 
she really just needs like a, a you to be a, like a kind, loving father to her, like an authority, like a true authority figure. Like when the children are acting up or the children get into temper tantrums or the children are emotional, because I got daughters, I can't get in. I can't get down there with them. I can't engage with them that way. I have to. It's okay. Come and even with my daughters, especially when they were younger, I said, "All right, just come and sit on my lap, right? Just come sit on my lap." Okay, it might. I told you guys that we might be moving soon, and so my youngest daughter, she's really, it's really bothering her, and like she'll come into the room and she's crying, she's like I just don't feel good, and like because she knows we, we might be moving soon. I just don't feel good, and she does it. And you know what I do? Just come here, come here, and she's put her head on my shoulder. And there's no words. This is the other thing that you got to understand with women when they act this way. You can't, you can't be logical with them. You can't rationalize with them. They're totally irrational when they're in this place. And a woman who knows herself will tell you she's irrational. My wife, when she gets like this sometimes, which is very rare, but she, she'll just tell me, I, I'm just being irrational right now. She'll say that. My wife is very rational because she knows when she's being irrational. And she'll just tell me... and. I'm being irrational right now. And so if I'm trying to rationalize with her, it's like, okay, but that means that there's that not, we, it's not going to get anywhere. That's not what she wants. She wants to feel your strength. She doesn't want you to, to prove you, prove her wrong or give her a convincing argument or to really even answer. A lot of times women don't even want you to answer their question. They don't even want you to solve their problem. She don't want you to solve her problem. What she wants is for you to be strong, to, to be something that she could rest on. Boom, slow down, slow down, it's all right. My youngest daughter, I even used to do this when she was real little because she's, she, she's, she's got a lot of energy. In a lot of ways, she's the most feminine of my daughters because of her energy, and she's so creative. She's chaos. My youngest daughter is chaos. You see my children's rooms. I've done videos like with her room on my Instagram stories. It's, her room's fucking chaos. She's got paint everywhere it's you walk in her room it's like a tornado and even when she was a baby and she would get into these like like fits i would just hold her like this and breathe and in fact when i said you know it's not so much about what you do but who you are when you're being this way you breathe in deep and your breath, your when we breathe, it's a it's a vibration. You know, people say like, you know, you got vibes. You know, I feel your vibes. You got bad vibes and shit like that. Well, the breath is a vibration. It literally is because there's an inhale and there's an exhale. There's a, there's a peak and there's a crest, right? There's a up and there's a down. What is a vibration? It's this. And so when you when you have a calm when you're breathing calm, and she's chaotic. And you pull her close, just pull her close. Just maybe just grab her by a hand and pull her close. All of a sudden, you, the pulsation, your calm pulsation is, will, will, will pour itself over into her. And she'll start to calm down a little bit. Now, this might not work right away because depending on, you know, how, how out there she is, she might think that you're being, you're condescending, right? But if you're, and that's the other thing, like I keep saying, it's not about what you do because you could be you could be doing condescending shit. It's about who you're being. No, I'm genuinely, I genuinely love you, and I I, I want to see you feel okay. Uh, but I understand that I can't rationalize with you right now, so I'm just going to bring you into my strong, stoic, stable embrace. Women, because they're more feeling creatures and not thinking creatures, we have to, we got to use the body, right? Because the body is where emotion comes from. We have to use our bodies to help them, right? We literally have to bring them close to our bodies or women want to be touched too, right? Like a lot of times you can calm her down just by, just, just by holding her arms, right? Like uh, just rubbing her arms. Yes, I understand. And just like while she's complaining or while she's yelling, while she's freaking out, you're just rubbing her arms. That's all right. Yeah, I'm listening to you. I understand. Yeah. The worst thing that we can do, the worst thing we could, because maybe you don't even get that far, because those are all positive actions, right? Sometimes it's a matter of like you, you, you're not even in a position to take positive action, right? In this particular way, but the worst thing you could do is engage, engage negatively with her, right? My wife sometimes, 
especially when she's she's complaining about the kids that's usually what it is she's upset about one of the children and she starts ranting about them the worst thing i can do is to stoke that fire by saying yeah you right yeah just, she got problems i understand like you start like stoking the fire and like agreeing with her even if she's right i don't i, I don't want her to get any wild, more wild about it so i just hmm mm-hmm yeah mm-hmm Sometimes she thinks she wants to answer from me, but she don't really want to answer from me. What she wants is calm. Mm hmm It's all right. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm That's it. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm doing. I'm just listening. Uh-huh. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. <laughs> right? And women appreciate that. Now, these... You know, they, we've become effeminate in our world and they teach men to be more like women. So a lot of women think that they want their man to whine and cry with them. But that's what they go to their girlfriends for. If you really want somebody to whine and cry with you and to do that and like get down on your level with you, well, that, that's why girls have, that's why they have girlfriends. They have girlfriends for that. Go call your sister, <laughs> right? But if you really truly want solution, not not solution, but solution to your angst, I can calm you down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all right. Cool. I understand. Come over here. Yeah, it's all right. Just put your head on my shoulder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yep. Yeah. And just listen. It's all right. You know I love you, right? <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> you know? Just think about, just just consider that and read that book. He really understands polarity. It's a good book. I hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here. And I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.